several weeks ago when we gathered together to do the hanging of the greens, I had the privilege of working with one of our young helpers. And as we were uh, fluffing the greens, right? Fluffing the trees, fluffing the garlands, doing that job and adding lights and putting out decorations, she said, why do we do all of this? And it was such a perfect and great question. Why do we do all of this? For many of us, it's tons of work, loads of uh, just boxes and linens and getting the trees ready and hanging the lights. For many of us, it's a source of frustration. As much as we enjoy the decorating, we do not love, or maybe as much as we enjoy the decorations, we do not love the decorating or maybe the undecorating at the end of the season. So why do we do all of this? So I shared some simple thoughts with her that may be helpful for each of us to reflect on. I said, well, it's the season when things are getting dark. And so we put up the lights to help shine the light in the midst of the darkness. And the light is a reminder of Jesus that he shines light in our own darkness maybe figurative, maybe literal. We use the evergreens to remind us of eternal life, of the things that don't go dead and dormant in the winter seasons, but continue to look like there's life and health and well-being. We put out the figurines to remind us of the characters in the story, talking about Mary and Joseph and the baby Jesus, but also the shepherds and the angels and the wise men. Maybe we have other animals there. Maybe we have animals or characters that don't belong necessarily. They didn't live in the Middle East in that era or that time, but... They remind us that the good news of Jesus is for everyone, everywhere, for every creature, great and small, and so we include them anyway. We decorate to shine a light of hope and joy to remind people of the season to say, we're here, God's here, God's doing something. Friends, whether you go big or you stay small and simple, I hope you take a little bit of time to decorate in some way this season. Maybe it's simply using a special Christmas mug, or maybe it's having your ornaments out, or maybe it's having greenery or a tree or light, something of some sort. But I hope that you can highlight those things, participate in the telling of the story and allowing the story to be told to you each time you enter that space or use that mug or turn on those lights. That Jesus is God's gift to the world, that he brings us hope and life and light for our journeys. Happy Advent, friends, and happy decorating.